So, <clears throat> one of the things we, you know, we were talking about before with the Mesher Music Group, we want to make sure that we provide some information that is, you know, helpful to artists who are coming up and, you know, chasing that dream. They, they're still hungry for it. Um, let's talk about touring and then how you balance that with your family life. Because okay. that's tough. Yeah, yeah. Very tough. Um, Daniel actually has a song uh, called I'm Not Acting, and it's, it's all, it was all about being out on the road and coming home and, uh, you know, your wife sees you and, and, and the line is, um, if I act glad to see you, I'm not acting, mm -hmm. you know, because it, it's hard to be away from your family. Sure. What would you offer in, in, that, in that realm? Well, you, you know, it's, it's really, um, you have to be very determined as a unit to, to cope with, with the distance. Um, and to cope with uh, all of the pressures that come along with it, yeah. you know, um, we're very family-oriented band. We're we're uh, very aware of the fact that that our that our wives and, and children are are at home, missing us as much as we miss them. Yeah. And so, luckily, we have today's internet, which gives us the opportunity to FaceTime. That's right. Um, pictures and texting and, and we can stay connected. I don't know how they did this in the 70s when I mean, it was like when I get to a phone yeah that's right I'll call you yeah you know yeah. if I if I can if I have a dime you know like I mean it's like so I mean you know and they just would leave yeah. and they come home and somebody be the family be gone be like yeah that's I mean, crazy I couldn't even call them to tell them that, <laughs> that I you know that I was coming home that's I mean, right you know I mean sometimes it, it, truck stops and things like if, if we had to depend on things like that we would be in a lot different situation yeah so it, it is a little bit easier in that respect that I can talk to them every day mm -hmm. um, as long as many times a day as I'd That's like right. as many times yeah. a day as we so there's some downtime where we'll get on we'll get on um, video conferencing and stuff and, and uh, that helps yeah but we're also in a in a situation where we don't we don't do the typical touring we don't do three months out and then come home we do three or four days out and then we come home we do that three or four times a month and then we take a week off you know what's real important about that and why that's so key is because this is just my opinion it feels like Zach thought about that up front Zach's got four kids kept control yeah yeah so that's yeah. very important uh, yeah. when, when you're negotiating deals so that's great and you know being away from family and stuff you write about that and, yeah. and I've caught some undertones in, sure. in this record which we're going to get to um, in, in just a minute but you know I was looking at a lot of the pictures of you guys being out on tour and, and you really do appear to be a family you guys look like you're having fun and that's we very are. important we are and, and yeah. sometimes that's hard for our families to see too it's like yeah. they're having so much fun and we're not there you know, it, I've heard it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, and, yeah, absolutely. And so it's 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 tough too because we we get to bring them out sometimes. Yeah. Um, you know, we brought our kids out once in a while. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes I can bring my oldest daughter out with just me. Yeah. And yeah. and I can handle her by myself. But, mm -hmm. but I but I you know we'll have somebody from the crew on the bus while she goes to bed and we go on stage. So That's it's right. you know it's. That's cool. We're going at eight thirty. She's got to be in by nine. So. She can be watching the show from the stage in her pajamas. Yeah, you know. There you go. And then you know, one of the one of the crew members takes her back and yeah. puts her and sits with her until I'm there. So that's got to be you know some of the more enjoyable parts about touring and being out. So would you happen to say? Uh, well, let me just ask you, what's the worst part other than being away from the family? Um, I guess the. Because you guys don't have separate tour buses for every member yet. No, so no, <laughs> but but we but we're pretty comfortable. We you yeah. know we've got several. We got a lot of buses. We mm -hmm. um, we're not pinching pennies. And we, the cheap way to do this is to be out for months at a time. And and we and we feel like that we're going to be happier spending the extra dollars to to be home more often and mm -hmm. to take you know a little more comfort in the buses and. And make everybody really happy. And and the cool thing is, when, every time we get on the bus, we're high fiving and happy to see each other. You That's know? great. It's not like you again. You know, like <laughs> really, I still remember that thing you did last week. You know, like yeah. you know, you, it's there's always we're always excited to see each other. We're always excited to come home. Yeah. And um, and so that it's a great balance. Uh, I think that the toughest part is for me as I'm growing older is the travel. Just the yeah. just the repeated. 
um, motion and vibration and, and mm -hmm. sleeping in the bunk and and the bunks are comfy, but yeah. it's not like your bed. It's not like quiet in the house. Well, Clay has a song about that on, on this his latest uh, solo release. Sleeping on seventy five. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. a great song. Yeah. And uh, and man, that really does say it all. I mean, I, I can only speak from the outside. I'm, I've only done some short. Well, when tours he says the bands. boys, the boys get drunk. Line. That's <laughs> yeah. not, he's not talking about me. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think he would. <laughs> uh, yeah, having to keep that up every night. I, I think I could try it though. I would, I, I would love to. I would love <laughs> to give it a shot. Yeah, yeah. man, I, I got to try that well, out at some it, point. Well, it's fun, you know, yeah. and, and and we and we do enjoy ourselves, and we do, you know, we do like to have a cocktail after the show, but yeah. but we we're not we don't party like we used to. Obviously, that takes such a toll on you, mm -hmm. um, you know. Um, being being a part of this this rough and tumble scene often means that that most of our hanging out and our socializing is done on the bus yeah we get we get done there, there are no real parties to go to we don't really want to go yeah, you know, yeah we'd rather have this time to hang out with each other uh, that's because yeah. there's nobody to meet really i might i might find a friend from high school or something where i can go hang out for a little while and yeah. and, and be with them and enjoy that but but i i'm really i've got to go i gotta go to, i gotta go to tulsa yeah so i don't have time really to hang out for very long before yeah. You know, I'm and, and with the record, when things like that happen, when my record came out, mm -hmm. I'm trying to take advantage of being in a town that's that's spinning it. Oh, and absolutely. so I go to do radio at yeah. eight in the morning. So yeah. a lot of times I just go to bed right after the show and wow. and get up and, and go do something early. That's that's great, man. But, I, but the kids help you be ready for early. So it's like okay, <laughs> seven, no worries. I got that. My kids are up at six thirty. Oh, you know, man. like you know, like. It's fine, you know. Oh, and, and they, they may not get me out of bed every time, but one yeah. eye always kind of opens. Like, is that a baby out here? You know, <laughs> you know. <laughs> but, but 